Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode. This is Ms. Sarah Bassioni with you today. We're going to be working on Unit 6, Lessons 5 and 6. Our topic is still let's eat. Let's get started. We're going to identify just in short listening texts. We will interpret non-verbal reading texts, which are menus. And we will pronounce familiar words with some accuracy. We will ask and answer questions in order to seek help or get information or clarify something that we don't understand. We will express points of view and aspirations or wishes that we want to accomplish. And we will identify different stress positions in words like chicken, customer, and waiter. So I'd like you to listen to the people in this cafe and tick the food that the customer buys. Hello, what would you like today? Mm, I'd like a cheese and tomato pizza, please. Okay, anything else? Yes, a salad, please. Small or large? Small, please. And would you like any drinks? Have you got any fruit juice? Yes, we've got an apple juice and orange juice. I'd like an orange juice, please. Is that everything? Yes, it is. That's 105 pounds, please. Thank you. Here you are. Now, let's check the food that the customer buys. Of course, it is cheese and tomato pizza, small salad, orange juice. Now, let's check your answers together. Number two, I'd like. Number three, small or large. Number four, have you got any? Number five, we've got. Number six, is that everything? And number seven, that's blank pounds. Now, let's move to our speaking section. You need to work in pairs, so find a partner and take turns to be student. A or student B. Remember, when you're ordering food in a cafe, you can, the waiter can say, what would you like? And the customer can say, I'd like, and then choose, have you got any? And choose what you want from the menu. And then the waiter can say, we've got an item from the menu. Here you are. And the waiter can ask anything else. Is that everything? And the customer can say, how much does it cost? And the waiter can say, that's blank pounds. If you're student A, you're a customer, you choose three things from the menu and ask the waiter for them. And if you're student B, you are the waiter, you will listen and talk to the customer. So remember, you can use the expressions in the expression box to help you. Now, we're going to move to our objectives for the next lesson, which is identifying a text type and its format and appearance such as heading and subheading. We will express facts and points of view. We will write about likes and dislikes on different topics. We will use the topic and supporting sentences in writing short reviews. So let's look at number one, read the review. What did Sarah like most about her visit? City Cafe, great visit. So here we have a topic, and the subtopic. The topic is City Cafe, and the subtopic is Great Visit, and it has five stars. That means the review is a good review. It is reviewed by Sarah. I visited this cafe last weekend with my mom, dad, and my brother Ashraf. We chose this cafe for lunch because it looked very nice. The walls were green and white, and there were big windows. I love looking out of the window and watching the city. Ashraf and I both had rice for lunch. I had fish with rice and he had chicken. My dad had fish with rice too. And mom had a salad. It's very healthy. We all liked our food. After lunch, Ashraf and I had cakes. This was the part we enjoyed the most. There were a lot of different cakes and they were, and they all looked delicious. 
I chose Basbusa and Ashraf had kunafa. They were amazing. I'd like to visit this cafe again very soon. What did Sarah like most about her visit? She enjoyed having a cake after lunch the most. Now, I want you to reread the review and answer the questions. Number one is done for us. When did Sarah go to the cafe? She went there last weekend. Who did Sarah go with? So with who questions, we have to write down names of people. So here we will say she went with her family, her mom, her dad, and her brother Ashraf. Number three, what did the cafe look like? Here we have to describe the cafe. It had green and white walls and big windows. Number four, what did Sarah have for lunch? Here we're going to talk about the food that she ate. She had fish with rice. Number five, why did Sarah's mom have a salad? Here we will say why her mom chose the salad because it's very healthy. And number six, what did Sarah and Ashraf have after their lunch? They had cakes for dessert. Now, Sarah had a basbusa and Ashraf had kunefa. Now let's jump to our writing section. Write a review of a cafe. So think of a place you visited and write about whether you liked it or not and why. You can talk about when you visited, what you ate, and what you thought about your food and what you enjoyed the most. Remember, the first sentence of a paragraph must be the topic sentence or the sentence that tells us the subject of our writing. Other sentences are called details and they should support the topic sentence. So, if I write about the cafe in the first sentence, I must give details about the cafe after the topic sentence. These details can be reasons, descriptions, or examples. Now, for our exit slip, I want you to imagine you are at a cafe. Run a conversation with your friend to discuss food items on the menu. Thank you guys. That's a wrap. This was Miss Sara Bastioni. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.